Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so today on Paddy Wagon Travels we're going to talk about trip planning. Um, in my live uh, videos uh, on YouTube as well as on Facebook, I've had a lot of questions from subscribers and people who are interested in knowing how do you plan your trips. So I'm going to kind of take you through my process for planning trips, but remember it's just my process. I mean uh, other people may have a much more simplified process, but I'm all about travel time and I'm all about making sure that I get to my destination um, in enough time so I can set up to be ready for work on Monday morning. As a digital nomad, I work Monday through Friday, so it's really important that I um, arrive at my site um, and have the ability to get all set up. So that involves you know, making sure that I have data coverage, um, it involves making sure that I can make the timeline, and also it involves the reviews for the RV park of where I'm going to stay, and if I have the option to stay at an Encore Park through my Trails Collection or at a Thousand Trails Park. So there's a lot of things that go into my trip planning. Um, like I said earlier though, as a digital nomad, one of my big issues is data coverage. And so I'll get into that in another video because I'm going to go over the apps that I use on my phone. But for today, we're going to talk about my RV uh, trip planning um, process. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. So the first way I begin to do my trip planning is I like to go into the system and I like to search for driving directions um, first. And when I get directions, um, you know, I can always go in through, um, whoops, that's not what I want. Stay here. I usually just go through maps. Maps is a, a nice way to get to where you want to go. And, uh, it also gives you a great, great driving direction. So here's my driving directions here. And I want to say I'm starting out in uh, Borough Bridge. Oops. Borough Bridge, Louisiana. And as you can see here, it highlights it for you. And then I want to go to Fairhope, Alabama. And what it's going to do is it's going to track the route for me, and notice that it's going to give me some options. I have the I-10 through I-12 option, and then reconnecting all the way up into Fairhope, and that is the default trip, and that's going to be um, 265 miles um, direct from Google Maps. If I take the longer version, which is going to take me through New Orleans, and let's just say I wanted to go to New Orleans on the way, then you can see here that it's going to take me down I-10, all the way through New Orleans and then back up to connect at Slidell um, and then heading out to Fairhope and that is going to be 317 miles. So I don't like to travel more than about 300 miles a day and so I'm going to go ahead and select the route that takes me through Baton Rouge which will put me on I-12 and then we'll reconnect to I-10 and Slidell. So this is the first leg of my trip because I'm going to Charleston, South Carolina but I'm going to hang out in Fairhope for a week and so this is the route that I'm going to choose um, through um, to go through. Oops, oops. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, it's not. It's taking me the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to go that way. So let's drag this down. There we go. Let's just drag that down to ten. And I think that makes it a nice cohesive trip. So it says four hours and thirteen minutes. I always add an additional hour and a half. So I'm looking at about a six-hour trip. Um, it may be a little bit less, but about a six hour trip from Brobridge, Louisiana to Fairhope, Indiana. Uh, from Brobridge, Louisiana to Fairhope, Alabama. Now for most of you know, I am a Thousand Trails member, but I also like to search for RV parks that 
uh, are either in the Encore system because I do have a Trails collection. Um, but in the event that there's some, uh, there's no Encore parks available, I like to do a search for uh, RV parks in a specific area. So I'll just do RV parks or, um, and let's say in this case, it'll be Fairhope, Indiana, uh, Fairhope Alabama. Um, and really what I'm doing here is I'm really just kind of looking for what are the parks there? And so I'm going to click on the, on the map and um, I'm going to bring that a little bit further in for myself. Now I have, uh, I'm very familiar with this geography because I've stayed here. I've been at the hilltop um, and I've stayed at Coastal Haven. There's also an escapees um, Rainbow Plantation Park, which is very nice. And I am an escapees member, but I have friends that stay at Coastal Haven. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Coastal Haven. And Coastal Haven has excellent reviews, as you can see, a 4.6. One of those reviews is mine because it's a wonderful, wonderful campground. If I want to go ahead and select the website, just right mouse click to open up in a new tab. And I will hopefully, yeah, there we go. It comes to their Facebook page, um, which shares their rates. Um, as you can see here, their nightly rates are $42. Their weekly rates are $166. And their monthly is $500. So my goal today is to go ahead and to call Coastal Haven and get a reservation with them. So, okay, so let's go to the next thing now. I, I, now I need to um, start all over again, and I need to do my maps. Let's go back to maps, because now I want to see what the distance is going to be from... Now, I could do this on Siri. I could do this anywhere, you know, really anywhere, but I, really, I like to do it on the computer. So let's do Fairhope. Uh, Alabama. Uh, whoops. Just messed that up. Yeah, let's go ahead and click on directions. And let's go from Fairhope, Alabama, to Charleston, South Carolina. Well, in specific, particularly, I'm going to Water, Walterboro, um, South Carolina. Let's just see what the what the route destination is going to look like on this. Now, it looks like it's given me two routes, one that I can take through I-65 up through Montgomery uh, all the way over through um, to Savannah, or I can take I-10 all the way across Florida and then intersect um, with uh, um, I-95 up to Watersboro. So let's take a look at the differences between the two routes. So the I-10 through I-95 route is supposedly 602 miles. So that, I know that's going to take me about two days to do that. Uh, or I can take the 65 route here, which says it's going to be 566 miles, um, and it brings me up to Savannah. So I don't know. I, I kind of like that route. I love tra traveling on I-65. It's beautiful. And um, then it, you, know, you take some small roads across between I-65 um, into uh, I-16 and then off to I-95 up to Watersboro. So let's just go ahead and keep that for right now. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at RV parks in Watersboro, uh, Waltersboro. Um, South Carolina. And let's see what we have here. Now I've already done this and I've already made a choice and my choice has been um, green, uh, the new Green Acres uh, RV park here. Um, let's take a look at that. It's got good reviews, uh, actually very nice reviews, and it looks like a sweet park. And the one thing that I really like about it is that it's affordable. Um, unfortunately, you get into Charleston, which is a, a really highly trafficked area um, and with a limited number of RV parks and the cost can become quite excessive. So here, let's go ahead and click on rates. And according to them, their weekly rate for a 30 amp uh, water sewer cable um, is $179.20 a week, which is actually pretty good because I only plan on being there for a week. So, but if I did decide to stay for a month, it would be $504 a month. Uh, and it includes electricity, which is exceptional. So I'm not sure how you plan your trips, but this is how I plan my trips. And the other thing I do too, is I also will sign into um, my uh, Thousand Trails membership, and uh, especially if I know I'm going to be in a Thousand Trails area, and I will go ahead and look um, at the Thousand Trail parks in the area to see if I can go ahead and uh, set up uh, uh, a reservation. So, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, 
And uh, I hope you would have given it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day today.